All right. Hi, so today's video we are going to be talking about my May wrap up. I read four books this month which is not as good as some other months but I mean it's still a lot of books. May, in May I just like was in this like weird reading thing like I was reading so much and um April and March that May I'm just like okay I need to take a little breather uh but we're good now I'm in it and so I'm going to talk about the books that I read in May and I'm also going to talk about the three books I'm currently reading so first we're going to start with what I read. So the first book in May that I finished was Wicked Saints. This is the Owl Crate version. Now, I've said this before that I'm so glad I'm not really buying books or newer books lately because books come in book boxes. So I'm really loving this version. Like I know like with the finale book, they're like darker than the normal, which I love. So uh, Wicked Saints, this book, I would have not gone through so easily if it wasn't for the audiobook. So thank you for script for that. Because this is in Russian, like like the names and stuff is like Russian and so trying to figure out these names. Like I did it um I didn't read this with Al Cray. I read it with a book thing with other people and all we could talk about was how funny we were making the names in our heads were. They were not even close to the names in this, which if you really look at it, there aren't they aren't that hard, but if you don't hear it at least once, you're not going to really probably get it. So Wicked Saints has a lot of different main characters. We have Nadia, who is just a girl, you know, who has, she's special in this because, uh, because a lot of people have like, you know, like one power, or maybe two. She's got all of them. And she can talk to the gods and people are after her because she's so like different. Then we have Seraphin who is the prince and they are both part of like different countries. So we have Trinavia which is what Seraphin is from. Nadia is part of a different one and so she has to go into Trinavia to help out a boy that she meets and basically just set up for war and stuff. I like this book. I've, uh, I've, someone told me that they didn't like it and I know a lot of books lately it's been like, books lately have been real iffy. They're either like really high or they're really low. I like this one. Is it my favorite? No, but I mean it's still a good read. <laughs> Alright, the next book we're going to talk about is A Court of Thorn and Roses, which I did not expect to go into this book and have some certain scenes that are a little more spicy than I was ready for. <laughs> I think I noticed or I've read something maybe that Sarah J Mass does write a little bit more steamier scenes, kind of like Fifty Shades of Grey kind of things. But I just wasn't ready. And then now that I am reading A Court of Mist and Fury, I'm just like, oh, oh man, uh, are we sure this is for YA? Because these, I don't know, I mean teenagers are some pretty uh, interesting people, but wow. So A Court of a Court of Thorn and Roses is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. We have Farah, who is our main girl, and then we have Tamlin, who is our beast. We have Lucian, who is Tamlin's like right hand man, and then we have Rhysand, or, or Reese. Uh, I didn't. I was thinking like Rhysand or something like weird in my head. I was like, oh, it's Reese. Okay, we're just gonna call him Reese because that's what they want him to call him in the book, anyways. So I was. Okay, so I haven't finished Throne of Glass series and I know that there is a read-along with Bookish Box, I think, and they're reading Air of Fire for June, but I read that you're not really supposed to read both series at the same time because it gets confusing. And so we finish A Court of Mist and Fury next Saturday. So I think whenever that I finish that, I'm going to take, instead of going straight into the third one, I'm just going to be like, hey, to my friend, I'll be like, hey. Uh, let's, let's take a second, let me read Air of Fire, and then we can get into the next one. I think I'll do that every month, like read the first, read Court of Thorn and Roses series in the beginning and the Throne of Glass at the, at the end of the month. So, and also, I didn't know if I was going to like this book because I wasn't really a fan of A Curse So Dark and Lonely, and 
I was hesitant in going into another book that was Beauty and the Beast related. I did this a lot with A Little Mermaid because I loved Sea Witch and I loved uh, To Kill a Kingdom. But there was one, I can't remember, I'll have to put it on the screen with the one I really hated. I cannot remember the name of it, but I hated it. I gave it like one star and I'm just like, uh, no, no. So, this, I mean, basically it's the Beauty and the Beast retelling. It's about, it's about Farah who, humans and fairies, you know, they, like, they exist, but like fairies, like, did really bad things to humans like way in the past and so they build up this wall and then Tamlin comes and basically you know takes Farah and takes her to his kingdom. She uh, ends up falling in love with him and just like you know the curse and all that basically the same thing just you know <laughs> writing's a little bit different. I loved Tamlin in the first one and you know Reese, he's like kind of the bad guy, but like for a court of mist and fury, it's a little bit different. Uh, Tamlin's getting on my nerves. <sighs> I'm not really happy with him right now, but I gave that one a five out of five stars. Good read. You, if you like Beauty and the Beast, you should pick that up. If you have, I'm pretty sure. I'm a little behind on a lot of books, so I'm pretty sure like books that I've like talked about that people have already read. <sighs> The next book I read was Furyborn and I'm so excited. Here's my picture of when I met Claire. I just met her last weekend and I got my book signed. I also got Sock, Sock Hill Girl signed and Kingsbane because you had to buy a book. So I bought Kingsbane and then I bought Sock, Girls, Sock Hill Girls off Amazon. I went into the book signing only on chapter 32 of this book and I told her that and she's like it's fine you know this is a spoiler free for both of those books. She's so nice and she's funny and I was so happy to go. So Furyborn is another queen's book. So we have our sun queen and our blood queen which I'm wearing, I'm wearing yellow a lot today to be a sun queen because I'm doing a photo shoot with my friend and she's gonna be the blood queen and it's gonna be great. I already have someone who's gonna be the prince in this. And it's gonna be great. This basically is about two queens. One will rise and one will fall. So we don't know who is who. So we have Riel and Eliana and I really love Eliana because that, that girl has my heart. But Riel, I'm just like, ooh, this girl. They ha This book is basically them figuring out who they are. So these also is a thousand years apart. And the twist and this, and then there's also a really spicy scene, or spicy chapter, it's like the whole chapter, and I was reading it by the pool when a bunch of kids decided to show up. And I'm just like, I feel like I have the biggest secret in the world. <laughs> so I like these because, like, these two stories are connected because uh, with Eliana, she knows stories about uh a real because they are like fairy tales in her in her realm so i'm really excited for this i gave this five out of five stars i'm really excited to get into king's bane and king's bane is heavy like like this book is huge and we were waiting in line holding this one and Fury Born and Salt Kill Girls. I got up to the table and I'm like, man, my arms are tired. She's like, I'm so sorry. I'm like, it's totally worth it. <laughs> okay, the next book we were, I have read was Nocturna. This was the Fairy Loop box, book bo book for May? Was it May? I don't know if this was. No, we haven't gotten our May box. Sorry. This was the book for April. Uh, we still haven't gotten our May boxes yet. So. Nocturna is a, about about three people basically. There is Finn who is a thief, there is Alfie who is the prince, and then there's Luca who is Alfie's cousin. And it's like a lot, there's powers in this that Finn can change her appearance, Alfie can, Alfie can do a lot of things. <laughs> but mostly his is he has this like doorknob in his pocket at all times and he can travel that way. It's like he just puts the the door not up, opens the door and goes through. <laughs> so this, okay, so the ending for this book was good. Like this, I'm pretty sure this is going to be a series and me and my friend are like, no, I think, you know, this, it could be fine. Like right here, stop. <laughs> because it really had, it had one of those endings where it's really going to be hard to pick up because it wasn't, wasn't a cliffhanger, cliffhanger ending. 
I gave this one five out of five stars. I uh, we didn't read this the week of that Fairy Lou did it. We did it the week after. We just still took those chapters, and we read this on our vacation last week. And we listened to, oh, we only listened to one chapter on the way home because it was like 15 minutes long and we were like, oh, okay. And so I ended up finishing it a few days later than she did, but still buddy reading, I highly recommend because you can get through books so much faster and it's like a lot more fun because you get to talk about the book with them. Alfie's brother disappears because there were some people who were hired to assassinate them but they only got Des and so Alfie is trying to get him back. He ends up going to this game to find like books for like dark magic. Well that doesn't work out. That's where he meets Finn and she turns his world upside down. Well, they basically turn each other's worlds upside down and they end up becoming really good friends and this is a really good story about friendship and uh, family and these, this is a pretty hefty book, but it's a pretty easy read. Uh, not all the chapters are really long. Some like towards the end, they get kind of longer, but in the most part, they're really good. I recommend this one too. The books that I'm reading right now, I told you, is a court, a court, a court of Mist and Fury. And I'm also reading Finale uh, with Fairy Loot. And I'm on chapter 22. I have my little, uh, my friend started doing this where she marks the like the what chapters to end on. And man, that's really helped because I don't really have to look at the books anymore. I, so I don't have to keep going to my notes, which has really helped. Uh, I, I have the Owl Crate version of this book and I love it. It's so good. I highly recommend the Carval series. Also, if you are looking for audiobooks, the Carval, like the girl who does that. Also, the girl who does Furyborn, that series is really good. Also, I finally got Daisy Jones and the Six in the library. I was like number eight and I've been waiting so long for this. I started the audiobook, but I stopped when I got to the chapter that I'm on because it was like three hours long and I'm just like, oh, okay. So, I want to finish this this week also with, um, uh, also with finales because I want to start Kings Bay next week because my boyfriend's birthday party is the 15th and a lot of my friends are going to be there and the, the two friends that I want to take pictures with who for Furyborn I because one of my friends lives like an hour away from here I'm really hoping I do it then I get paid Monday and I'm buying like her crown his crown and like a dagger so I can also have that for like shadow hunters too so yeah. Uh, so yeah, I hope you like this video. Let me know what you read this month and what you plan on reading for June. And like this video, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next time. Bye.